And a lot of time, like what we were doing is picking out notes from the chords and just using those as chord tones within our soloing. And we were restricting ourselves to that. But yeah, when you know the shapes, like the, the shape is what I see in my mind all the time. Like A7, I think of this, which is just this done with like a kind of a bluesy fingering, but it's still the same exact notes. And I picture that in my mind. And, and uh, yeah, so knowing the shapes, it's definitely the way to go. You haven't got your real book yet, I imagine, right? All right, cool. Well, let's uh, let's walk. I'll I'll walk you through all the rest of these chords today, and then we'll we'll walk through them and then try to navigate them. How's that sound? All right, cool. So we got our E minor seven. This you already know. To F seven. Good. To B flat major seven. To D flat seven. To G flat major seven. Then we have our A7, and then D major 7. Okay, now the next staff is identical to that, except every chord is a, uh, a whole step lower. So instead of starting with E minor, it starts from D minor 7. The chord after that is going to be E flat 7 instead of F. So everything's just basically moved down two frets. Yeah. Ah, uh, not C. Yep, there we go. Good. Uh, G, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no. Mm hmm Yep, G7, and then the last chord? Oh, yeah, so we got four measures per staff. That's the best way to organize it. Yep, that's the last one. Uh, yeah, so now we have this. D minor 7, E flat 7, a flat major 7 good and then B7 uh, which I could do here all right E major 7 I could do that here but you know what let's change it up a bit so that we can avoid some of these these uh, open strings so we have D minor 7 E flat 7 A flat 7 how about from here when we go to our our B flat or sorry our B seven? Why don't we come up here and do this? Any of them will do though. It's not all the ultra important because they're all correct. They're all good. So there's our B seven, and then we have E major seven. Cool. Then we could come up here to G seven, and then C major seven. Yeah. Now, if you had done this totally uh, different and correct, then it'd still be correct and different. <laughs> like this, D minor 7, E flat 7, A flat uh, major 7. Now, you could go here, which is what we just did, and it leads you down that path. Or you could go here, and then E major 7 to G7, and then to C major 7. Any of those are going to be okay, you know? They're all good. Um, all right. So the third staff is the same as the second staff, but down a whole step. So you see what it's doing here? Kind of. The first the first chord in the first staff was E minor 7. The first chord in the second staff was D minor 7. And so now the first chord in our third staff is going to be C minor 7. 
the whole progression stays the same. It's just moving down whole steps from the previous time. Uh, no, yes, yes, that's right. Yep. Um, it was C minor seven, D flat seven, G major, G flat major seven, A seven, uh, D major seven because before that it was e major seven After A7 would be D major 7. Yep. Yep, and that's a whole measure. All right, now there's only four more measures to the tune, and they're much simpler. So I'll just I'll just tell you what they are, um, and then we'll have the whole soloing um, format of the song. So a whole a whole measure of E minor seven, a whole measure of F seven, a whole measure of B flat major seven, and then a whole measure of E flat seven sharp eleven. Right and. Yep, sharp four or sharp eleven, same thing. Um, and that right there is is already kind of like <clears throat> giving you more information than necessary. I mean, from them, not from me. From them, the sharp eleven is like, well, what we are going to learn is that when you see a five chord, you can play altered, or you can play dominant diminished, or you can play Lydian dominant, and um, and which one of those we play will depend on what chord comes after it. Um, really, any of those will work at any time, but there's there's preferable way to use those, and we'll talk about that. But when they say sharp eleven, they're suggesting a mode to you. They're suggesting a specific scale that you play, and those suggestions are just suggestions. Um, all right, cool. So, so the whole thing is like this. Let's walk through from the very, very, very beginning. E minor seven, F seven. B flat major seven, D flat seven, G flat major seven, A seven, D major seven for a whole measure. All right. Next staff, D minor seven, E flat seven, A flat major seven, a B seven, and then E major seven. And then G7. Yeah, but it all works. It's all good. There we go. And then C major 7. And then next staff, we got C minor 7, D flat 7, G flat major 7, A7, D major 7. B flat major seven. Oh, uh, my, uh, I had that right. Oh, F seven, my bad, thank you. And then B flat major seven. There we go, and you got a ma major seven, yep. All right, and then the last uh, staff, which is gonna be a whole measure of E minor. A one, two, three to F seven. One, two, to B flat major seven. To, to E flat seven 
and then the song starts over. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and worry about the sharp eleven a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, so, because what you want to do now is you want to be able to play through these in time. Maybe not in two hundred fifty-five beats per minute, but just like in some kind of tempo like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Third staff with C minor to D flat seven to G flat major seven to A seven to D major seven to F seven to B flat major seven and then E minor seven two three four to F seven one two whole measures B flat major seven two three E E flat seven and then it starts over. And that's, that's not an easy task. That's a lot of chords. And that's why this song is such a nice one to work on it with because there's it's constantly got you thinking. And also, this is a good one to practice looking at the paper because it's a lot to memorize. Um, certainly, every, people do it. I mean, every it's very common that people do it. But this is a good opportunity to get to know your fretboard while maintaining your gaze on the on the sheet that way you can always follow along because when we solo that's what we're going to want to do too we're going to want to be playing e minor to f7 to b flat d minor to e7 or e flat 7 Seven. C minor, D seven, D flat seven, G flat major seven, A, A major. Uh, sorry, it's hard to say the same thing at the same time. D D major to F to B flat, E minor. To you know, and just so forth. Like we have to be able to kind of keep our eye on the page as we go along. It's Pretty tricky, actually. This this tune especially. 